folks who uh, in the harvest ran right now, there's some people here. If you want to try to come up front, uh, if you're not able to hear back yet, that'd be fine. And if you'd like to record, if anybody'd like to record their remarks, feel free to do First of all, uh, to our assignment judge. Judges who are present, uh, frankly, to Tashana Schiff as our president and leader of the Essex County Bar, and Tom Quinn, who serves as chair of the Essex County Bar Foundation Memorial Committee. Thanks to you and to you, Craig, for all the years of service and presenting an, an opportunity for all of us to pay our respect to people and colleagues and friends. My name is Justin Walter, as you heard, I'm here to honor my law school classmate and friend, Erwin Horowitz. First, let me say uh, my thoughts and condolences to the families and friends of all those being remembered and honored today uh, by the Essex County Bar Memorial Committee. Fond memories of renowned colleagues and friends that include as well my longtime partner, Heather Suarez. And it's important for all of us to recall and remember and honor as we are today. I first met Irwin at law school. I was part of a study group at the Rutgers with Irwin, Frank Steinfelman of Blessed Memory, and Sheldon Sheff Ross. We all passed the bar together in 1961. Irwin clerked for New Jersey Federal District Court judges, Art Shorn and Coolahan before starting his own law firm with Sheldon Frost. Irwin then joined Hearts Mountain Industries in 1987 as its general counsel. In reflecting on Irwin's life, the words which best characterize him are professionalism, civility, integrity, common sense, respect, kindness, compassion, and courtesy. To those, I would probably add about his graciousness. He was a mentor for many. He had a collegial attitude in dealing with all matters. He was clearly talented and had a wonderful sense of humor, and he was a most humble individual. These many attributes were evident to his family as well as to those who knew him in his professional life. And they were witnessed not just here and there, but on a daily basis. Irwin passed away at age 85 at his home on September 6, 2021, surrounded by his lovely family and friends. He has four children, Sherry, Lisa, David, and Rachel. Here today are his wife, Tony, daughter, Rachel, son, David. I am humbled to have been asked to honor my friend, Irwin. For 23 years, Irwin and Shep grew the law firm to over 20 lawyers. The firm became Horowitz, Cross, Simmons, and Imperial. Irwin's commercial area of practice as well uh, was substantial, as well was his dedication to just mom and pop small businesses in the North area. As Shep stated, Irwin never forgot the less lucrative clients we befriended during the growth of his practice. His devotion to each client was extraordinary. Be it a small bodega in North or a developer in a multi-million dollar deal, Irwin always remembered where he came from. <clears throat> clients loved and respected Irwin. Irwin was a, was a friendly to everyone and particularly so, as I've been told, to the man who ran the candy concession in Newark at the Ring of Commerce building where his office was located. And frankly, I've been told he was probably friendlier with him than he was with clients and his fellow <coughs> lawyers due to his proclivity for candy. I can personally relate to that type of addiction. After many years in private practice, I said Irwin had joined Hearts Mountain in 87 where he's executive vice president and general counsel until his passing. His initial charge was to develop an in-house legal department 
which could support and complement the growth and development of parks, which was New Jersey's largest privately held real estate company, while at the same time implementing methodologies to reduce the con company's outside legal costs. Irwin met both challenges with resounding success, utilizing his wisdom, experience, and common sense approach to problem solving. As stated by his colleagues at his heart at Barts and those in the in-house law firm of Horowitz, Rubino, and Patton, Irwin was the key in many of the lease and financing transactions that may involve millions of dollars, millions of square feet of real estate by steering the company through complex land use and environmental matters inherent in these development projects. He was, and most importantly, a calming influence at the negotiating table. He had great people skills. He also complimented them, as I mentioned, by a wonderful sense of humor. He provided guidance to his associates while encouraging their own creativity and the passion for the law. As I said, he also brought humor to work along with intelligence, compassion, and understanding what is right and good. He understood civility. Each case was not World War III. You could just as well have represented the other side in a matter. He understood that, his colleagues understood that, and he was respected for it. And as our honorable judges here know, people who are treating a case like it is World War III become a real turnover. According to Irwin's colleagues, he made every day a pleasure and honor to work with him and made them proud to call him, quote, my friend. Irwin was the quintessential lawyer. He's been recognized by his peers and was the recipient of many honors, including New Jersey Business Magazine's General Counsel of the Year, received a Lifetime Achievement Award, received recognition as one of New Jersey's most prominent real estate attorneys, and by this very esteemed Essex County Bar Association. In 2011, he was honored as the Professional Lawyer of the Year. Irwin was always a cell phone call away and spent his free time devoted to his family and community. Irwin loved his family as he loved his work. The family members all miss talking to him, receiving the benefit of his thoughts, be it about business, family, or life generally, or even to talk about the Knicks, or talk about the Yankees, or talk about the Giants. Hopefully in that period of time, it was a better time for the Giants. <laughs> the Yankees are doing great, and the Knicks will wait and see. He actually demonstrated to his family the importance of being courteous to everyone. He was always ready with good stories and jokes. Irwin is gone, but will never be forgotten by his family, colleagues, and friends. Let his memory serve as an inspiration to us all. Thank you for the opportunity to speak about my dear friend, Irwin A. 